Welcome back, everybody. We are on the fourth episode of Drew's Cooking, and I figured for this episode, we should go back to our basics. Uh, I have picked a game that reviews the first three fundamental, the three basic fundamentals of cooking, cooking at its core. It is cook, serve, delicious. First step being cook, second step being serve, third step being delicious, as the customer will review. So, I think we're just gonna get right into it. There's six save slots, so that can tell you something about how the game is. Welcome to Sherisota Tower. The historical building was once home to the luxurious Cook, Serve, Delicious, the Three Steps restaurant, but has since been in disrepair along with the rest of the tower. However, the recent economy boom has filled this tower to capacity, and the owners of the tower would like to reopen the Cook, Serve, Delicious restaurant and put you at the helm. They ain't going wrong with a professional like me. You'll need this, you'll need to take this now zero star cafe and turn it into a five star world class restaurant. So first, we'll learn the basics very quickly, but before we can do that, we need to see how much you're willing to handle. All right. So basically they, they took like a really good restaurant. It uh, died uh, and it's now at zero stars, but I'm going to bring it back to five stars because I'm Drew and this is Drew's cooking. And I know the three basic fundamentals of cooking. That is, cook, serve, delicious, the title of the game, and the restaurant. So let's start cooking. I'd also like to point out that this soundtrack is bopping. I'm enjoying it very much. Choose difficulty level. The standard difficulty for the, is the norm of cook, serve, delicious, which can prove to be very difficult for many users. But over time, you will gain a great understanding in cooking food perfectly. I think I'm pretty good. I think I'm gonna stick with the standard difficulty. Hmm. This game has also advertised itself as a hardcore cooking game, so I think uh, I picked one that I figured would be my skill level. Let's get right into it. Let's see what's up. This restaurant looks like uh, a dungeon. This is your main restaurant serving area, but it doesn't look the best. You don't say. It's got a nice view, I guess. Looks very, looks like a nice watercolor painting. Doesn't look the best, but hey, you'll fix it up in no time. You can press the bottom right mouse button to hit escape. Pause the game at any time. Oh no. This is a custom. That, that dude doesn't look so hot. Mario, you all right, buddy? Man, Mario's had a rough day. This is a customer ticket. Play, play, press the number on your keyboard, in this case, one, to start the order. One. The yellow dog. Just mustard, please. So hit M for mustard. Great job. There are three different types of satisfaction levels. Perfect orders, no mistakes. Customer's happy and will come back. Average orders, customer isn't happy. Mistakes are made, might not come back. That's, that sounds pretty rough. In bad orders, customer is angry, doesn't pay, lots of mistakes made, won't come back. Strive for those perfect orders. I think I will, because it sounds like if I don't get a perfect order, the customer is mad. This burger requires you to cook the meat before preparing the food. Click or use the keyboard to call up the order to begin. One. Looks like you only need one meat patty for this order. Place one patty on the grill and then press P enter to start cooking. Meat. All right, what do, I, what do I do now? So the original is our signature burger. It is the original, a very original name, I like to say. It looks kind of like a penny on a, a giant penny on a hamburger bun with, with uh, meat, lettuce, bacon, cheese, and tomatoes. That's an MLBCT for those uh, in the food industry. Slap that burger on, slap that bun on the top, the sesame seeds, and we are good to go. We have completed a more advanced order. This is your main managing menu. I like that alliteration. From here, you can control the food menu, buy new items, and a whole lot more. Oh no, it's like I have to buy stuff like in the coffee game. You'll work from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Wow. Pulling those all, pulling those like 11 hour days, 12 hour, 13 hour days at the restaurant. Then between each day, you'll come back. This is menu to plan your business. Wow, 13 hours a day at the restaurant. I'm gonna buy the delicious looking pretzel. Easy food to make, uh, made day afternoon pick me up, catering, munchies, generally considered a snack food, not to be ordered during rush hours. Oh, it's not ordered during rush hours, okay. Menu rot, will decline in popularity each day on the active menu. So these are like buffs and like uh, nerfs. <laughs> Unappreciated, customers never, customers never tip with this food. What kind of customers am I bringing in? This food is never ordered and restaurants classified as two star or higher. So I should rep the pretzel right now before I become the five star glory house that is uh, Drew's cooking or cook serve delicious rather. 
burger, fried chicken, and uh, how about the, what does this mean? I think the green means good, so I'm putting the putting the potatoes on. Oh, that's the ice cream. Putting the ice cream on the menu for a nice dessert after you eat your burger and fried chicken. Let's go. Let's see what I can do here. The sun is rising. Begin. Okay. All right, one. So she just wants a nice drink. Uh, medium cold with ice, please. Medium cold with ice. Poor drink. Oh, with ice, with ice. Okay, two. Medium cold with no ice, please. So, medium cold with pork. No, that's tea! Oh no, that's tea! No, 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 no! No! Sorry, sir. Oh no, he got it. He, he wasn't happy with that. One or one fried chicken order, please. Uh, okay. Uh, I think that's good. Hey, you liked it! Okay, three. Um, two vanilla VV with, with, with cherry, please. H is cherry. Okay, serve. This is intense. Okay, one. This guy just wants a meat patty. Rush hour. Uh, one scoop of vanilla and chocolate, please. Okay, uh, three. Uh, the restroom needs attention. Flush. Sanitize. Uh, four. One fried chicken. Uh, oh man, this is intense. Okay, small ice, small tea with ice. Uh, okay. Uh, oh no, burger. Oh, I just gave him a patty with a patty in between the bun. Meat, lettuce, cheese, bacon, and tomatoes. Uh, three, two meat patties. Okay, cook. Uh, flush, sanitize. Four. Whoo! All right. This is really hard to talk over. One meat patty. Boom. Bam. Cook. Two. Clean the toilet. Sanitize. Boom. Uh, uh. All right, so how are you guys doing? Uh, meat only. You want a piece of meat between a bun? Two chocolate scoops with sprinkles. Uh, chocolate, chocolate. Uh, blah, 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 blah. pea sprinkle. Served. <sighs> okay, ice cream. Uh, two vanilla scoops of cherry, please. Vanilla, vanilla. A cherry, cherry is H. Served. Kramer walked in and he wants a fried chicken. Fried chicken. I burned the chicken. This is hard, but it's really satisfying to play, I guess. If that, if that gives me anything. Uh, two. I didn't do any, I don't know what I did there. I asked, I just gave her an empty bowl. Um, meat, double bacon, and cheese. Ooh. Uh, two meat patties. It's like I'm playing a beautiful, beautiful song. Uh. All right, let's see how I did. Customer served, 44 orders of the day. Perfect. I got 23 perfects, eight averages, and 13 bad orders. Did seven out of my 10 chores. I didn't earn any tips. I made one crumb and my highest combo was three. I earned 149 fun bucks. 11% positive buzz and 6.5% negative buzz. That's more positive than negative, so I'm gonna take it. Toilets flushed, seven. Rats trapped, zero. Dishes washed, six. Threw a lot of garbage away and the justice dispensed. I'm putting myself through too much right now. I can't dispense, I don't have time to dispense justice. I really like this whole keyboard thing. It might be a little easier for me to play with the uh, Mouse, but I like the satisfying feel you get. What is this? Oh, my emails. I should probably check that. I can upgrade my fried chicken. That sounds amazing. I, nothing wrong with upgrading fried chicken. Forward, are you frustrated? I'm a little, uh, not frustrated, I would say. I'm just a little uh, high strung. New anti-frost from GML. Watch it instantly take your frustration away. Well, see how it effort effortlessly glides your worries away and takes you to a piece of pure serenity. Order now to receive a discount of 25%. Thank you, Anna Wu. Note that 25% discount only applies for orders of $1,000. Woo, okay. That's a lot of money. I don't got that. What is Battle Kitchen? Oh yeah, we can do face-off for this. There's a multiplayer mode. 
Interesting. All right. What a simply... Look at all those unlockable... Shovel Knight! He's here! What? Shovel Knight? These are games that I don't know what they are, but that's cool. Someone from Super Hot's in this. Oh, far, Farther Than Light. I can't read that. Um, Lethal League. Oh, Lethal League's great. Cactus. Bunch of Cuphead. Cuphead himself has graced the presence. Dust. Oh, that's a good game. Gang Beasts. Ghost Song. Hotline Miami. Joe Danger. Oh, man. This is awesome. Nidhogg. That looks like the Nidhogg himself. We played that on Face Off one time. What? Um, let's start a new day. Let's get back to the let's get back to the cooking and the serving. Okay. Let's try with the mouse for a little while. Okay, so large cola with Okay, I don't know how to use it. So large cola with no ice, please. We already have trash. Boom, you see that? Mashing those keys. One. One meat patty. I probably said uh, one meat and patty a lot during this episode, but it's it's all for the cooking. All right, I'm getting tense, boys, I'm getting tense. But we're getting there. I, I went from like $65 to $585, so small water with ice. Look at my happy faces. You don't see that in uh, not Drew's cooking. Lady in tracksuit wants a medium cola with no ice. I, is this an eSport? I don't know. It said it was an eSport mode, so I'm gonna assume it is. There's no one here that will be able to tell me if it's an eSport or not. I, f I feel like I'm in like a heightened state of mind right now. Like, if I wasn't trying to make myself entertaining during this, which I'm probably not doing a very good job at, I probably would be like, what did I do? That guy wasn't happy. If I probably would be like completely silent, like, for three days straight, just doing this. Because this is amazing. And like, if I were to actually up, get to the five stars, that would take like days. So I will definitely not be able to be able to do that tonight. But in time, on my personal time, I will totally, of course, get to the highest rank and maybe become even a six star restaurant. I think. That guy's playing Star Wars Battlefront 2, guys. The classic version. Not the new version. Anyway, today I've served 47 customers, uh, 37 perfects, of course, three averages and seven bads. They just didn't know what they wanted and I knew for them, so I served them it. And they, of course, didn't like it for some reason and just left the restaurant, but you know, it's fine. All 10 of my chores are completed, so mom, uh, give me my allowance. Uh, it's all done. Zero dollars earned in tips, like, you know, some days the customers are just feeling kind of, feeling kind of, uh, you know, frugal. It's day before payday probably for most people, they just don't want to tip. Zero crumbs are made, so a very clean, clean uh, place today. Seven time combo. $196 were made. 18% positive buzz, 3% negative buzz, that's a good ratio. Nine toilets were flushed, zero rats were trapped, zero dishes were washed, five garbage was thrown. No justice was suspensed, and a partridge in a pear tree, folks. Whew. That, I've only completed five out of the 20 days it takes to uh, become a two-star restaurant. Man, I just don't think I'm going to have the time to do that tonight. Maybe on my own personal time, I will complete this. But definitely not tonight. Uh... Just not enough time. I'd be playing for like 12 hours straight. That's a, that's a, that's like half a live stream. And I don't think we can do that tonight. But yeah, I really would highly recommend this game. It's, it's really fun. It's really hard and uh, really intense. Um, it's on Steam. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it wasn't much. But anyway, if you have any other games you want to hear me and, or see me play here on Drew's Cooking, tweet me at CTV Goofing Off with the hashtag. Drew's cooking, of course. Whew. Until next time, I'm Drew. I'm going to go take uh, probably a little nap before uh, the next... I have to start a new day and serve customers that delicious, delicious ice cream, cheeseburger, fried chicken. Well, you name it. I'll see you next time, folks.